From calling his friend and colleague a cheat to being penalized for a controversial shot he took, Cameron Smith has managed to have quite a few controversial moments on the golf course. When it's been a decade playing golf professionally, a little drama here and there is guaranteed. But Smith seems to invite quite a fair share of it, or so it seems. Back in 2019 specifically, the PGA Tour issued a warning regarding remarks he made about Patrick Reed's suspected cheating at the Hero World Challenge. The Australian Golf Digest said that he received punishment from the circuit after publicly criticizing the former Masters winner for his now famous incident in a Bahamas landfill. After his third round, the 32-year-old Reed was given a two-shot penalty after being captured on video, either intentionally or unintentionally altering his lie on the par 5 11th hole. And what was he seen doing? Apparently the guy was striking the sand behind his ball. Now, that's simply not allowed, right? While he swore he didn't cheat, many others disagreed, including Australian ace Smith. The Australian golfer had a lot to say about the alleged incident. According to him, if you make a mistake once, maybe, you might be able to forgive it, but to respond with crap like the camera angle, that's just unacceptable for Cameron, because for him, that's very much up there with having no excuse and grasping for straws instead. And that man simply has no sympathy for cheaters in any way. But then he did try to reel it in, too. He went ahead to say that he didn't want to say anything bad about Pat because he knows him pretty well, and he's always been nice to him. But that's about it, because he's not up for anyone breaking the rules. Apparently, he's a man of principle, which makes you think, would you stick up for your friend or stick up for your principles? What's your take on that? Yes, Patrick suffered the backlash for his actions on his own time, but Smith, the 2019 champion of the Sony Open reported receiving a warning from the circuit as a result too. The story stated that a PGA Tour representative had spoken with the player about the remarks. They had allegedly admonished Cameron Smith about his statements after he used the C word. The man was essentially the player who shouted out the loudest against Patrick Reed's behavior in the bunker in the Bahamas. Before the President's Cup, Smith was blunt in his assessment of Reed's apparent sand brushing at the Hero World challenge, but sticking up for the rules didn't exactly play in his favor, as the Australian was allegedly reprimanded for what would be considered an attack on a fellow player by those at the tour's headquarters. See, sometimes you just need to stay quiet, even if you are right. Better safe than sorry. The man has to be some kind of magnet for trouble, though, to get stuck in the crossfire when it didn't even relate to him in the first place. After that, Smith decided to remain silent, probably for the best, too. What do you think. But it didn't end there. A pretty heated verbal spat between controversial Australian Cameron Smith and American golfer Patrick Reed apparently escalated to being physical on day one of the President's Cup back in 2019. The cause for the little altercation is pretty self-explanatory. But after the Texan was docked two strokes at a tournament last week for altering his lie by moving sand with his practicing swing, Smith called Reed a cheat and referred to his denial of intentionality as as b because there's no way he didn't intend for it. Quite naturally, Patrick Reed was mocked ruthlessly after everything went down. Later, Smith stated that there was tension between the two and that their friendship seemed to have ended when Reed ignored him during the practice rounds. Um, not to point a finger here, but I'm guessing most friendships end when one accuses the other of cheating, right? I don't know about you guys, but that's not how you maintain healthy alliances, at least in my book. In a twist of events, they both found themselves head-to-head -head during the four ball at Royal Melbourne, even though Smith was scratched on the first day. Australian Golf Digest claims that the Texan shot a birdie to have the hole while Smith watched, and on his way to the following hole, he immediately headed straight for Cameron Smith. That's when it escalated. While there didn't appear to be any verbal communication between the players, Golf Digest said that they were spotted purposefully bumping shoulders, with one witness describing it as a love tap that caused the Australian to smirk. The crowd booed the 2018 Masters champion loudly as he was presented, and Reed took the verbal abuse right off the first tee. Apparently, a woman in the crowd shouted, Hey, Reed, are you going to make your caddy carry 14 clubs and a shovel? That did it. To the excitement of the fully loaded gallery, Reed's opening drive successfully rolled into a bunker when Patrick and his U.S. partner Webb Simpson leveled their 
match with a birdie on the 16th hole. The man almost had the last laugh, but Hideki Matsuyama of Japan answered in kind on the following play, and the internationals held on to the win by a single margin. Patrick Reed just couldn't catch a break, now could he? The Australian's drama doesn't end there, though. You didn't think that was it, did you? In 2022, Cameron Smith's time at the FedEx St. Jude Championship was marred by controversy, and that's when rumors surfaced that he would be joining Live Golf following the PGA Tour playoffs. The 28-year-old golfer was given a two-stroke penalty by officials at the start of his final round, ending his week in controversy and substantially hurting his prospects of winning the tournament and rising to the top of the world. During Saturday's third round at TPC Southwind, Smith was penalized two strokes for hitting his ball from the incorrect spot on the fourth hole. Video playback revealed that after putting his tee shot into the water, he took a shot, touched the red penalty line, and then played his next shot. Now, according to the regulations, the ball must be dropped beyond the penalty area after taking a shot. You can probably guess what happened next. This should have become a contentious situation for other reasons, but somehow it surrounded how the regulations were applied. Instead, the point of contention was when and how the punishment was imposed. After seeing Smith play live on Saturday, the rules committee judged that his drop was acceptable. The committee met again the next morning and agreed to speak with the guy about what went down. After an official saw the TV footage repeated on Saturday night, according to Cameron, the ball was on the red line during that chat, which gave head referee Gary Young no choice but to administer the two strokes. But here's the thing. That discussion didn't take place until about 11.20 a.m. local time, less than two hours before his last round was scheduled to start. He continued getting ready to tee off in the third to last twosome while cameras followed him. His demeanor was composed, and a strong birdie on the opening hole suggested our guy wasn't all that alarmed. After all, he did come back from a four-shot deficit on Sunday at St. Andrews to win the Open Championship earlier. He'd already done it once. He could do it again, right? Not exactly. From the looks of it, the player had trouble getting his putter to function, making seven pars before hitting back-to-back -back bogeys. He finished tied for 13th, six shots behind the winner, Will Zalatoris. After the round, he chose not to talk to the media, so it's unclear what he thought of everything that went down. But according to the tour statement, the Australian took the punishment without much resistance. He was very calm, very matter-of-fact, according to Young, because at the end of the day, the rules are the rules. Well, it's refreshing to see that his stance on principles didn't change when it was him looking down the barrel. Still, it is undeniable that Smith lost the chance to become the new world number one, as well as to compete for the top spot in the FedEx Cup standings that year. But hey, rules are rules, and that's a wrap on Cameron Smith's controversial moments for now.